Okay, here's something cool. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by these guys, Econ Systems, and they asked me if I wanted to try a new camera. They have a new product line, USB 3 cameras. So I said, yeah, because I uh, need one for the targeting project. And it's USB, it's supposed to be high resolution. So this is what they, um, well, let me, let's see. It's supposed to be this one, the Conversa camera. Low light USB camera with microphone. So anyway, they offered to send me one uh, to let me check it out. So I said, yeah, and uh, they shipped it and it just arrived today. So this is pretty cool. It actually started out there in Chennai where they manufactured it. it went to Bangalore, then to Mumbai, took a stop at uh, Charles de Gaulle went to Memphis, then to Atlanta, and in less than a week it was here in Comer, Comer Georgia and delivered. So that's pretty cool. So let's have a look at this thing. Got all this international thing. Look at that. It was x-ray. Does it look like it's been opened? No, I don't think so. Let's see if we can get this one. Uh, I guess that's just all the packing stuff. So let's have a look at what's in here. I think they were supposed to send a whole kit. We shall see. And come on. All right, I'm going to have to get violent. junk. They said it cost ten dollars. I think it cost quite a bit more than that on the uh, on the website. But all right, so packing list, and here is the kit. Econ Systems USB three cameras. C3 cam. Okay, after doing a little more reading, this is what I have. The C3 cam CU30 3.4 megapixel low light USB camera board. All right. And so this tells me that let's go with 1080. So at 1080, I should be able to get 60 frames a second, which is pretty stinking good. So, this ought to be cool. Nice little box. And let's see what we get. Important. Get their software. Alright. And here's our USB 3 cable. And here, oh, cool is a nice little foam packed camera. Now this uses the M12 lens so you can get different lenses. So this looks like it has an IR filter on it. And let's see what doesn't say what it is, but that looks like a fisheye camera, so it should be pretty wide angle. We may have to get a different one for what we're doing. All right, let's look at this module. Oh, OK. 
Okay, let's see. So, USB 3. Got a big LED on it. Double stacked motherboard. And then this should be the M12. Yep, that's the M12 holder for the CCD, which is in there. Or whatever you call that thing. Alright, well let's get this mounted. Let me get a close up here. Let's make sure you guys can see this thing. Alright. Now, it does have sound, so here's two microphones. And what else? Hmm, it's got a little cable connect right there. That might go to, a, I'm going to have to read the manual on that. That might, you know, work for a Raspberry Pi or an ESP32 or something. It's a big LED. All right, well, I'm going to get this thing cranked up and running, and then we'll come back. So, there we have it. We got the camera, came with a lens, and the USB cable, all in this nice box. So, cool. Let's try this out and see how it works. Check this out. I was putting the module together, adding the lens to it, and I was inspecting the circuit board, and I saw this guy just peeking out right there. I was like, what is that? It, it was a screw. This is a piece of, um, you know, tamper-proof tape. The screw was stuck to the back of it. See that? So I got some pliers and pulled it out. I mean, that's like a 2.5 millimeter screw. Pretty big. Funny that it got all the way here, stuck on that tape. Okay, that's just an aside. Okay, I've got a lens. got the lens put on there, and I am just running this with um, GUVC view, which is just a basic, uh, you know, just a basic viewer for video cameras, and it's looking pretty good. We got a manual manual focus so we can focus right in. I'm running at 720p and it's running at almost 59 uh, frames per second. So it's actually a pretty good. It's a wide angle lens, but it's running it looks pretty good. All right, let me see. Let's see how close we can get. There's that screw. Alright, let me see if it'll focus. That's the wrong way. Oh yeah, that focuses way in. Oh, this will be perfect. Do some serious up close. Let's see how close we can actually get. Oh wow. Okay, that's pretty close up right there. I like this. Good clear good clear picture up close. I like this manual focus because you don't have to worry about the camera changing things around. Just set it where you want. You're good to go. Oh yeah, I like this. This is going to be perfect. All right, check this out. If I can hold it still enough, this is the pixels on my monitor. So that's how close we can get with this thing. Focuses right in. It's almost like a microscope, isn't it? Look at that. If I can get it, I can't hold it still enough, but oh yeah, this is going to be great. I love this close up. Okay, so now we're set up and we're going to see how the sound is. So this is a zither that I just made out of some old Douglas fir that I had. And uh, I'm going to use it for my next project. So, let's see how it sounds.
see if I can get a chord on here. I'm not very good with it. Alright, let's see. I'm going to have to re listen to this and uh, see how the sound is. Okay, we got some targeting motion detection going on here. I'm targeting the largest moving object. So, if I'm still and we look over here, we can see the wave clock is being targeted because it looks like it's moving, right? Okay. Up here are these stats we've got. We've got um, degrees, um, x, that's from the center line, so this would be negative, this would be, yeah, this would be the positive, this would be the negative, and then the y is up and down, so this is positive and this is negative. It's from these crosshairs that you can see. Whoop, nope, whoop, crosshairs that you can see right there, okay? So, now, the um, let's see, that right there is the frames per second. The frames per second is going to be low because we're running in a low light condition. This is one overhead light. It's not a lot of light in here. It takes the USB camera longer to, to get a good picture and send it. So even in the daylight, if this thing runs, you know, earlier it was running at 50-something frames, 58 or something like that. Now we're down to 25 or thereabouts. Okay, so targeting seems to work pretty well. Every now and then I get this crazy glitch kind of thing. Is that, is that I can't look in. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I get this, I get kind of a glitch every now and then, and I, I kind of think it was this lamp. I had this lamp on and I think it's, yep, there it goes. Did you see that glitch? It's something odd about having that lamp on. And when the lamp is off, it doesn't glitch. So I think it's trying to do some kind of adjustment or something to the light level, and it causes the whole frame to maladjust. But overall, I really like this camera. I like the fact that you can get close up to it or you know get close up on things. Oh I did do the uh, so I got 61 degrees up and down 103 degrees left and right with this particular lens. Anyway I like this camera I like that you can uh, get good pictures you can get them up close and I like that you can change the lenses I'm gonna change some lenses try some different things I like the frame rate on it it's pretty good um, the only thing uh, that I didn't like is I put it on my laptop and it used a lot of processing power. And I guess that's just because of the high frame rate. Uh, but it did use a lot of processing. It nearly shut my old laptop down. And so I don't know how that's going to work on the ROCK 64. The other thing that I noticed is that the camera gets really hot. So maybe it needs a heat sink. sink. I'll have to read the manual and figure something out there, but the, the module itself gets really hot. But overall, I like the camera. Thanks to these um, Econ system, Econ systems, it's a nice camera. All right, I'm out of here.